when our colleague Karen Johnson, who's inside the courtroom, relayed that news that a verdict has apparently been reached and will be unveiled in court in about 20 to 30 minutes' time. We'll, of course, have that live covered for you. It has been a long day, and considering just how complex this case is, it's not surprising that it's taken uh, jurors basically the entire day to get to this point. The man on trial, of course, George Wagner, faces eight counts of aggravated murder plus 14 other criminal charges. The 31 year old is accused of helping his brother, Jake Wagner, and their parents, Billy and Angela Wagner, execute a plan to kill eight members of the Roden family in April 2016. After listening to more than 40 days of testimony, jurors began deliberating this morning at 8.30. Their review of the evidence and what witnesses said follows a day and a half of closing arguments, including this demonstrative point by prosecutor Andy Wilson. Why don't you look at this picture? Man, this picture speaks volumes. It speaks volumes. They don't want you to believe that this case is about custody, that these murders had anything to do about custody. But make no mistake about it. Those two children in that picture were never going to be raised anything other than Wagner. Now, prosecutors say control of one of those two children, the daughter that Jake had with murder victim Hannah Roden, was what motivated all four Wagners to commit multiple murders. The defense team contends that George Wagner knew nothing about the plotting and the crime itself and that he was asleep the night of the Pike County Massacre. But again, now we're going to find out what jurors believe, which side they think is telling the, the correct version of history. Uh, again, we expect a verdict to be un announced in court within the half hour. We'll have that live covered for you. But for now, reporting live in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.